Is it possible to wave the flag too much? Provided, of course, that you wave it with integrity. Is it possible to study Lincoln or Shakespeare too much? Is it possible to read the Bible too much? The great, the good, the true are inexhaustible for inspiration, example, and strength. I believe that we are not waving our flag enough, not nearly enough. Walk up and down the streets on July 4th and count the flags. It's our nation's birthday, a sacred day in world history, the most important day of America. Why isn't the flag flying on every rooftop and from every home and building? The flag is a symbol of our national unity. It is the spirit of our undying devotion to our country. It stands for the best that is in us, for loyalty, character, and faith in democracy. Our flag is a symbol of the United States of America. Does it not represent man's greatest, noblest, most important dream? Is it not the goal to which generations have aspired? I believe it is time for us, the 20th century American, to stop for a moment and think. Let us inspire and rekindle in ourselves and our children the old-fashioned way of patriotism, a burning devotion to the principles and ideals upon which our country was founded. Every home should own and proudly display the colors. Isn't the flag Patrick Henry, Jefferson, Franklin, Washington, Nathan Hale, Paul Revere, Jackson, the Alamo, Pearl Harbor, Korea, Iwo Jima, Normandy, Babe Ruth, and Davy Crockett. The great events of our past and present are wrapped up in our flag. It is a symbol of this blessed nation. A giant in industry, education, and commerce. Millions of fertile square miles, wheat lands, coal mines, steel plants. Our great republic, the chosen infant, destined to be man's last and remaining hope for suffering humanity. A shining beacon of light, noble and glorious. The haven for the oppressed and persecuted, and truly, God's gift to mankind. what the flag means to me. Can we wave it too much? I don't think so.